Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. Now for the news in detail. The NSC and IM has clarified that the reported standoff between its cadres and the SM rifles on October 21 near the organization's camp has been resolved amicably. The group's MIB issued a note on October 22 stating the clarification. The organization clarified what it called a standoff-like incident that took place on October 21 between the SM rifles and the NSC and IM cadres somewhere near Camp Hebron has been resolved resolved amicably at the higher level, the note stated. A related story that was carried by a local newspaper is not based on the factual account and has no official connection with NSC and IM's version of the incident and that there was no snatching of arms from the SM rifle as reported by the newspaper, the note added. The grand finale of Batkai Model Hunt, which was organized by the Alician Entertainment in collaboration with Meragi Entertainment Nagaland, was held at Batkai College on Saturday with Duranchi B. Marek winning the prestigious crown, beating 11 others girls vying for the title. Niketo no Sechu and Lina Awomi won the first and second runners-up respectively. Speaking to Hornbill TV, Elysian Entertainment President Roshan Pratap said that the motivation to organize the event came from various events being held in the state and if opportunities knock, they are open to organize such events again. The judges for the contest were Lovi Awomi, VLCC Femina Miss India Nagaland, Tritong Sangdam, Chairman of Meraki Entertainment, and Teja Krinyo Nakuro, director of Mr. Gohima, and the team for the event was Embrace Your Flows. Yeah. Say I'm the actor, naga manu chokora. Di blocko hima town, jono mhala jaga. Ama laga pet para ola bolle time day. Naga manu kunto, bukhe ke na ola shay. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome the top twelve contestants of Bad Guy Model Hunt 2022 on Insider.
কলেজ তাই না সেরকম পাটকা মজল হরন তো আজ ফাইনালি খতম হয়েছে আজ গ্র্যান্ড ফিনালে দেখছে আর মন মন এলিশিয়ান এলিশিয়ান এন্টারটেনমেন্ট লা প্রেসিডেন্ট আছে এতে তো ফার্স্ট অফ অল কংগ্রেচুলেশনস আর আপনি হালা এই ফিশন হান তো কিনা থাকছে মরল হান তো কিনা থাকছে ওকে ভালে থাকছে আজি লা সাকসেস পাকারে ফার্স্ট তো ঈশ্বরকে তো পাতে আছে অল গ্লোরি টু গাড ফর দিস সাকসেস এন্ড দেন দিস ইভেন্টস বেসিকলি উয়ে আ থিম অফ ফিউ স্টুডেন্টস কামিং টুগেদার এস এন এলিশন এন্টারটেনমেন্ট এন্ড দেন দিস ওয়াজ আর ফার্স্ট প্রজেক্ট ইন দিস এন্টারটেনমেন্ট দ্যাট ইস ই পাতকাই মডেল হান্ট Basically, this uh, motivation came from various events and shows going around in our Nagaland state. And then we wanted to implement a different thing with this model. And so we brought the team as Embrace Your Flaws, where there will be flaws uh, and then the grills can overshine with this fashion and design and everything. So is this your first time conducting this uh, model hunt? I've been uh, organizing a few various events, but this was one of the first uh, grand events as well. First of all, uh, congratulations, and how does it feel to be the winner of the Patkai uh, model hunt? Thank you so much. I'm very excited uh, holding this new title with me, and I was not expecting this, to be honest, but I gave my best, and I'm happy. And uh, to my parents, who have always been supporting me, uh, it's all because of them. I thank them a lot. They've always been motivating me, and in future also, I hope that I will win more titles and influence more people who look up to me and also yeah I'm very excited thank you so much so is this your first time participating in such kind of model hunts or have you participated do you have any experiences Uh, actually, I've been participating since I was in class 11 be it Miss Fresher or any such kind of competitions and this is my third time participating and yeah i have two year experience yeah. my contribution to the society will be much different as what people expect it to be i don't want to be just a model but i want to be a role model so that people can look up to and they will say that oh if she can do why cannot i i want to look at me as a person who has always set examples who has always made an impact on people thank you the secret ingredient for my happiness and my confidence is just staying positive every time because uh, it's not like you will be happy all the time you will win all the time i have my ups and downs i have my weakness but i always uh, believe in myself and i always tell myself that in the end winning or losing doesn't matter but what matters is what you learn from it and what you gather from it and Uh, move forward, march forward stronger the next time. Thank you. Addressing at the flag of program Union Cabinet Minister for Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, Parshotam Rupala said that with the launching of Mobile Veterinary Unit, Nagaland State will now be benefited and will increase in productivity as well. He said that the government aims to boost into its sector in the country as per the vision of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in reaching out to the border of the country. <laughs> are grateful to the government of India. We take this privilege to convey our heartfelt thanks and gratitude. <laughs> और कोई ये काज वहाँ ऐसा भी बनाना इसके पीछे एक वो हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम है थोड़ा बड़ा नागालैंड में फ्लैग होने से मैं ये बड़े गर्व के साथ बता सकता हूँ कि प्रधानमंत्री की संवेदना उनकी फीलिंग्स फॉर एनिमल्स रीच टू द बॉर्डर ऑफ द कंट्री ये आप यहां से भारत की सरहद तक पहुंच गए ये नया भारत है इस नए भारत की ये तस्वीर है मैं मानता हूं कि मोबाइल वेटरनरी यूनिट एम्बुलेंस ऑफ एनिमल वाज नॉट हियर इन नागालैंड सो एक साथ 
रियो जी आपको मैं अभिनंदन देता हूँ कि आपके होते हुए आपके हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में एक मोबाइल वैन उपलब्ध हो रहा है और इसके जरिए इस हिली स्टेट का सबसे बड़ा दिक्कत ये था कि एक तो एनिमल तो आ ही नहीं सकता था और आपके वेटरनरी उनके पास पहुंच नहीं सकता था हम बताते रहे कि आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन करो करवाओ मगर ये वहां टाइम पे उसको पहुंचना या एनिमल को वहां पहुंचाना ये ऐसे हिली स्टेट में संभव नहीं होता है इसीलिए मैं ही मैं मुझे जाने में किफरी के लिए मैं पूछ परछ कर रहा था मुझे किफरी विजिट करना है तो बता रहे थे आठ से दस घंटा ड्राइव लगेगा ये आपका शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ कि आपने मुझे चौपर उपलब्ध करवाया ताकि मैं एक घंटे में वहां पहुंच सकता हूँ तो ये एनिमल्स का कैसे हो सकता और आपके सभी पशुपालकों को शुभकामनाएं देता हूं उसका बेनिफिट उठाइए और भी इसमें और भी कोई आवश्यकता है तो हमें बताइए मैं चाहता हूं कि नागालैंड के सारे पशुओं की आबादी में बढ़ोतरी हो सारे पशु तंदुरुस्त हो प्रोडक्टिव हो और उसके जरिए आपकी दूध की मीट की एग्स की सारी जो डेफिशिएंसी है वो पूरा करने में आप कामयाब रहो इन्हीं शुभकामना के साथ आप सभी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार Chief Minister Nipirio speaking at a flag off ceremony he said the these MVUs are customized and equipped to provide veterinary health care through a single window delivery system in the form of making diagnoses treatment minor surgeries collection of samples vaccinations and artificial insemination and more he also said that with the induction of these vehicles will immensely benefit the lives of farmers especially in a state like nagaland where connectivity is a main constraint for providing effective and timely veterinary service further rio also urged the department to make good uses of it to make animals healthy to increase economic in the state he also encouraged the farmers to get more into animals farming sectors to have our rural minister Arjuntam Rapunaji for visiting us yesterday evening at five when he visited me. He was speaking about the mobile unit for the veterinary the animals. So I was wondering. It is most needed, as he had mentioned. We have to organize veterinary mobile clinics to reach the animals and in the far flung areas. Animals will not come looking to our centers, our doctors, and animal. Uh, activists and the medicine people has to reach them. So this mobile unit has made our job very easy. The vision of Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji is not only for the citizens, human beings, but also for the healthcare. Of the animals also. So, this mobile units will do a lot of travelings, reaching the animals, the diagnosis, the sample collections, vaccinations, <laughs> artificial inseminations, and minor surgeries, other than medicines required for illness. So this has become a very healthy, which will reach all the district. And I hope the department, the doctors, and the helpers will make good use to make animal healthy, so that it brings wealth and also encourage the farmers. to go more into 
are fisheries, dairy, fisheries, and other animal activities. The Emporium Training and Consultancy Private Limited and the District Skill Committee, the District Administration of Dimapur will be conducting a job fair on October 28 at the District Agriculture Office. The, uh, this particular press conference is on the mega job fair which is going to be held on the 28th of October. And uh, so yeah, we, we are here, the Emporium Skills Training Institute, Nagaland, along with the district administration. Uh, we are here together in collaboration and more on that will be, uh, I'd like to give uh, the time to our honorable deputy uh, commissioner, ma'am, to say a few words. Sorry about that, it's additional deputy commissioners. Actually, uh, this time, Emporium and the district administration to the district skill committee, we have come together for this event that is going to happen on 28 of uh, this month, that is October. It will be held at uh, Agri Office, District Agriculture Office, this mega job fair that is being planned, where we are expecting eight companies have confirmed that they will be participating. So we are looking at youth who have completed matriculation and above. This district skill committee, we have also mapped out a district skill plan for the district of Dimapur. We are in the process. Actually, we have not finalized perfectly. We are in the process of completing that plan. So very soon we will be, always, we will be having a district skill plan also. To my right is our district development officer, Sir Gideon Sumi. And to my left is Mr. Anirban Mukherjee, who is the operations manager, Emporium from Emporium headquarters. Uh, giving, uh, giving us the scope to come forward and do this for the unemployed youths. I'll tell you why it is different. It is different mm -hmm. because this is a industry focused job miller. Here we are focusing on one particular industry. We are not bringing in companies from different industries. We are only focusing on hospitality and cruise line. These are the two sectors we are actually focusing on at the moment because these two sectors have been also identified uh, as one of the most potential sectors for hiring of people from the entire northeastern region. And in fact, these two sectors are even doing well and has been already identified as in one of the action plan or the skill action plan as well as the most important sectors for hiring of candidates from the northeastern region. So that is the reason we have invited all the giants when we talk about the industry partners, those eight companies who are coming, we have invited all the giants uh, from this particular industry which is hospitality and the cruise line sector in India. So, giving an example of the Taj Group of Hotels, which has been nominated and awarded as the world's most strongest hospitality brand in 2022. We are fortunate and we are very, very proud to say that Taj Group of Hotels, is, this is the first time they are coming for a recruitment drive and they have got this platform. Uh, we are under the Department of uh, Labor, Employment, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Uh, sir is from our department and so jointly we had done one job fair in Kohiba uh, long back in 2018 or 19 around that time but it was uh, it was not a job fair in, uh, as such it was just uh, you know we, we bought about two three companies at, uh, during that time and it was just a kind of a test run it was also a direct interview opportunity and that day also we had generated a, a more than 100 jobs on a single day uh, to be honest the, these companies who are coming, these are global brands. So each company, if you open the if you open their website or their career portal, you will find more than 1,000 jobs from each company. But all those jobs are not going to be, all those candidates are not going to be hired from one place. However, when they are coming for the job fair, each one of them have confirmed that we will take minimum 100. That is the you know, kind of offer letter that they are printing and bringing. And one more thing which I wanted to mention is regarding the positions. There are a lot of queries that we are getting from candidates for what positions uh, they will be hiring. 
because these are freshers and they don't know anything about hospitality. So through this uh, press conference, I would also like to mention that uh, hospitality industry also has various positions. So they'll be hiring for front office department, which is the reception. So people who are you know uh, eligible for front office department will be put in front office. People who are passionate and eligible, people who are found passionate and eligible for FNB, that is food and beverage service department, they will be taken for that particular department. Then we have housekeeping department. Plus, we also have the culinary section, the entire culinary, the kitchen section, the chef for the chefs. Now, I also wish to mention that uh, in this particular job fair, apart from the freshers, if, we, if the company finds anybody who is skilled, somebody let's say who is working as a chef in a particular hotel over here and wants to make a career outside Nagaland, wants to join a 5 star hotel or a cruise outside Nagaland or wants to go for career opportunities, better career opportunities or growth, this is a platform for them as well. We are all aware that uh, each year thousands of students graduate uh, from various uh, colleges uh, across the state. The, competi uh, the competition, the level, level of competition is very high in competitive exams. Job opportunity under the government sector is has uh, reached uh, its bottleneck. So we have felt the pulse of the youth. So for that reason, the district administration skill committee in a collaboration with the Imperial Skill Training uh, Institute. We are bringing this golden opportunity right here to the the doorstep of the educated and uh, Security when it comes to their job is number one top priority for Emporium and uh, the kind of companies that we work with are companies that we sign MOU with. Very clear in with them and uh, second of all, um, these are companies that have very, very strong labor laws, are absolutely intact, and uh, till now we've had no issues so far, and we believe that we will not have any issues whatsoever, even in the future. Um, you see, these are, as Anirban mentioned, the giants of the hospitality industry. So um, I would say that, uh, you know, young boys and girls that are, uh, going to be taking up job offers with these companies are actually very, very lucky. The government has decided to remove all obsolete and archaic laws enacted long time back and have no relevance in today's time, Union Law Minister Giren Rijiju has said. Unnecessary laws are a burden for the common man and must be reduced, he said, in Shillong, in Mekalaya. According to the minister, some old laws work as impediments to normal life of the common people and the establishment has to reduce the compliance burden on the people. It has not brought criticism, it has brought appreciation because I have stated something which is already there. It's nothing new. And moreover, as a law minister, I have to ensure that the justice delivery mechanism in our country has to be robust. When we delay in delivering of the justice to the common man, then the purpose itself is defeated. Secondly, I have defined the roles of judiciary, executive and legislature. So my point is very limited that we all are committed to work for the nation and our roles are defined. And we need not get into somebody's territory and get into unnecessary diversion of your roles. Rather than that, one must concentrate and focus and remain within the rim of the uh, responsibilities defined by the Constitution of India. That is the point. Normally, scrutinize on the judgment delivered by the Supreme Court or the High Court or any court of the country. Because it is not proper for me to make an assessment about a judgment. I may agree with the judgment, I may not agree with the judgment. But I cannot question the judgment itself. But I am more on the process of judicial pr pronouncement. I am more on the process of 
delivering faster justice. So as a law minister, I'm not here to talk about the judgment, <clears throat> but I'm here to talk about the uh, mechanism and the provisions. I'm talking about the old laws which work as an impediment in the normal life of the common people. My point is simply to reduce the compliance burden on the people. That is the Prime Minister Modiji's uh, desire to ensure that common people can live as peacefully as possible. There should be minimum presence of government's role in the life of the common people. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.